Hey guys, so I recently had a question about um, rice and someone wanted to know uh, what is better, white rice or brown rice? Okay, so I'm thinking, are they watching my videos? Have they seen any of the videos on ketosis? Okay, because we're not recommending grains, okay? But that being said, let's just kind of go into the differences between both of these types, okay? Uh, white rice is a refined product. They take the bran, the germ, the husk, away so you strip it down to like a pure carbohydrate and it just so happens that all the vitamins especially the b vitamins are in the bran the germ okay so brown rice obviously has more nutrition okay it's a little lower on the glycemic index and this is higher so both of these are pretty high so they're not good for losing weight um, now the brown rice also has uh, phytates which are things that help preserve the rice. Uh, they're very powerful antioxidants and they're kind of anti-nutrients because they tend to chelate with other minerals. But I like phytates in a supplement called IP6 and that uh, supplement helps to uh, lower iron. It helps to chelate copper and doing that it's a real powerful way to prevent this excess free iron and copper from causing a lot of oxidative damage. So it's a really powerful, probably one of the most powerful antioxidants. Um, if you were gonna take IP6, um, take it on an empty stomach, because when you take it with food, it could chelate or take out some of the other minerals, but it's not gonna take out potassium. It's not gonna take out some of the other minerals, but it will take out things like um, some of the heavy metals. It might deplete some calcium, uh, not to any significant amount. So take it on an empty stomach, and then take it a few times a week, okay? And then you'll be totally fine. Um, but it's not a big deal, but the benefits from IP6 are quite um, huge, especially in um, kind of avoiding cancer because it actually helps this oxidative um, stress situation. Now, the other problem with brown rice is that um, it has arsenic, uh, in it. And there's a lot of other products that you could be exposed to arsenic with rice uh, that go beyond just actual brown rice, like the puff cereals, um, you have the rice crackers, and the rice syrup. So it's in a lot of different things, but uh, we don't want arsenic in our body. It acts as a poison. Um, it blocks um, certain pathways in the mitochondria. It's a, you can consider it a very powerful free radical because it really destroys the mitochondria. And um, the way that you would know that you have arsenic poisoning, if, if you look at the nail bed, you'll have like a kind of a horizontal uh, white streak through it. And you might have one or two. That could mean that you have arsenic poisoning. But it does block a very healthy antioxidant called lipoic acid. Other symptoms for arsenic poisoning would be headaches, drowsiness, confusion, metallic taste in your mouth, problem swallowing, cramps in your muscles, and hair loss, okay? So, which is better? It's hard to tell because brown rice has more nutrition, but it also has this darn more arsenic. White rice has less arsenic, but it has no nutrition, pure carbohydrates, and it's higher in the glycemic index. So, I honestly would avoid both of these. All right, thanks for watching. So we've been getting a lot of success stories, but I don't have your success story yet. So click the link down below and upload your before and after. I want to actually hear about your success story. I want to see your before and afters. And every week we do featured success stories. So click the link down below and share your success.